take you outside to La Jolla. Some thick clouds here, quite a bit more cloud cover than we saw yesterday. Temperatures are quite a bit warmer because of those clouds. We're in the 60s for most of us. If you recall yesterday, most of us were actually in the 50s. And we're going to see a lot colder air filter in with this storm system that is going to be diving south. So let's time it out. As we head into this afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds, but dry. Tomorrow morning, you could be waking up to some wet roads, occasional showers. Most of it looks like it's going to come through early, early in the morning about now, and it's going to be very spotty, mostly light shower activity. Most of tomorrow actually is looking dry and then overnight Wednesday into Thursday, Thursday morning in particular. This is at five in the morning on Thursday. I think that's when we're going to get our biggest push of rain. So if your commutes that will likely be impacted by at least wet roads and maybe occasional rainfall tomorrow morning and especially Thursday morning. And then most of Thursday is also trending drier, especially by the afternoon. So this looks like it's going to be a Wednesday morning and then late Wednesday night into Thursday morning for the peak rainfall. Not expecting a whole lot, about a tenth of an inch to half an inch. Some higher amounts are going to be told uh, possible, especially in the mountain areas. Mountain and desert areas will see some strong winds. There's a wind advisory today, and I do expect to see another one in effect for tomorrow. But for today, it's in effect from 4 p.m. to midnight for winds up to 50 miles per hour. So isolated showers tomorrow, mostly in the morning, and then another round of more rain coming through Thursday morning and a lot colder air. Temperatures dropping up to 30 degrees by Thursday when we'll see 60s for highs. No, starting tomorrow for the coast and valley areas with mere 40s Wednesday and Thursday in the mountain areas. We may actually see a dusting of snow for our highest mountains, but it won't stick around for long and shouldn't really impact too much.